everyone, this is Fantasy Esque, and welcome back to Niche Warrior Story in the second century of White Age. When we left off in the previous episode, a new nicheling joined our wonderful settlement of Philantha. We had Graven, who found a mate in the lonely Belrophon, and I am just now noticing the beautiful green eyes that he has. Wow. I hope that gets passed on to his children, but he is a warrior, true. Graven, however, seems to be more the, of the gathering sort. And we're getting quite a bit more of that as time goes on. But I think we've been doing pretty well. Food is up at 112, nichelings at 13, so we have a lot of room to breed. And we already have two expectant females. And 71 nesting materials. So guys, without further ado, let's jump into the episode. Ah, there was a moment in time where we were getting a little bit worried because we didn't have too many nichelings or pairings going on. But that has since changed, especially since Illo the Second has aged up. She is compatible with Quintoral, which I think all of us want to see together. Um, and then of course the Belrophon and Graven, and we have Illo over here, who is having a kid with her mate Hadel, because I think they might potentially have um, just like Hadel the second here, some good genes going on. So when I turn the day in a second here, we're going to be seeing a new baby born, which is quite exciting. And I want to wait a little bit. Or should I? Quintoral? I think I'm going to send Quintoral down. I think I'm going to send him down. K and E, C and H. So he can find a mate in Illo the second. And they might wait a little bit before they have their kid, but I am just going to die for it, because why not? It's a pairing we all love. Okay. Hey, you guys. You guys, you guys. Right. Olesa, you were gathering some berries, of course. And then maybe... Maybe jumping down this way? I will actually get Olesa to jump here. And help clear out the area just a little bit. And Belrophon... Ooh, it's a poison berry bush. I'm gonna get him to take that out. Let's get Graven to jump. Oop, oop jump here and help clear out this space a little bit more so that we can have a clean cut to the other side. That is what I'm hoping for. Okay, well let's settle down next to Illo and see whether she has a boy or a girl. I mean a boy or a girl. Either or, we'll be fine. Okay, here we go. Okay, she had a little girl that had unfortunately C and H. Yeah, Hiddle and Illo. Hiddle the second, Illo the second, they were really good. Is he? He's not a fighter, unfortunately, though. Hmm. And his sister doesn't seem to be much of a fighter either. Well, you can't get everything all the time, can you? Yeah. She's got white fur, she's not albino, though. Okay, let's give her a name. She is going to be called, um, Coralia. So, Coralia. There we go. Welcome to the family. We have quite an even distribution. Actually, we have more females than males, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, and I'll wait on you guys until you find a nest further that way. And someone was saying that I should probably send Ilo and her family probably down to this nest uh, when I need that at some point because they are a waterfaring family and they could probably fish in these waters and also look after the capital of Plantha. So that was a good suggestion, so thank you to whoever said that. I will implement that- oh jeez, come on. I will implement that when need be. For now though, I think these guys are actually taking care of this place quite nicely. When the need arises though, don't worry, I will be jumping onto it as soon as possible. And we'll see who we can move and how we can move them. But okay, these guys are being connected uh, in this space right now. And Hadel, I think you need to probably... He can fish and he can dig and a little bit of collecting. And he can breathe underwater. So he could stay in this area and help out with the fish. If that's what he might do. Um, Illo. Let's send Illo down so she can do some fishing. And who knows, they might just naturally find themselves actually moving in that area. I've been keeping them at the river, but they might just find themselves moving down this way so they can- Oh my god. Guys, guys, guys. I just- I'm such an idiot. 
I'm such an idiot. We literally just lost the nest after you guys told me that I should move the family here. I didn't realize that we would lose that much. Oh god, we just lost the nest. That means we have to move islands, guys. We can't stay. No! We have to move islands. I was so happy in this little patch. Everything was going perfectly. Of course I had to do this to us. Okay, well, um, how are we going to move? See now, because they can't really, they could stay on land, but it's going to be more difficult to move on land and gather food. Our best bet, especially with the amount of fishes we have, is to just take to the oceans. Because now that we don't have a settlement, nobody can take berries or food from a food source for more than one turn. So I think our best bet is to stick to the waters. Oh geez, see both of them are equally far. I think this one's a little bit closer though. Hmm. Actually, I don't know. This one kind of looks a bit closer as well. Uh, I guess we're going to have to go down this way. Mm. Hmm. And we just had a flippin' baby born. You know what? I think we're going to go this way. Just because the baby's here and uh, this might be a better place to move to. And we don't have that many spots. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 spots, 14 nichelings, and we still have 2 births. So, we're gonna have to stop moving everyone. Oh my goodness, I'm such an idiot. Such an idiot. Okay, everyone, time to get hoppity hopping. Luckily, you have the food to get you to where you need to go. But now, unless it's bundles, they can't actually get food. Just to be on the safe side. Oh, jeez. Unless there are bundles... And we are... Yep. Oh, poor you. She could stick with her mate. She's gonna go here, though. She's gonna stick close to Belrafon. They're just gonna have to gather bundles as they go to the new port, because now they have to establish Flantha. It doesn't matter that it's lit up again. It was in the dark once, and now the settlement has just been destroyed. It's gone. Now all the nichelings have to go to a new island in order to establish the settlement again. So, my bad. I really screwed them over. Next time, hopefully we'll learn from this, and next time we'll be way more careful. Way more careful. But okay, Fernalia, uh, the second, you've been doing a really good job helping out so far, but... Yeah, it's time for all our water-bearing nichelings to move down into the streams and whatever else, into the bay, basically. To help us get by. Oh my goodness. Okay. Kleshex the second. You have your gemstone. Who else needs a gemstone around here? Nobody that I can see except for this little one. Who's gonna get pink. And you are fine. Okay guys. Time to get moving. Everyone needs to move. To the best of their ability. And obviously hunt as they go. Because that's how they're going to help everyone else out. Okay, Illo the second. Let's try best. These guys seem to be moving the slowest. Oof, this is tough. Okay. Vane, the fourth. You are going to hoppity hop as much as you can. Over on this side. And Lord Vane the third. He's also going to be going with them. And we'll see how much we can get, and to what extent we can get something. Let's get moving. Olesa the second, come on. Let's see. Olesa, this is the final day, she's gonna pass away unfortunately. Which really sucks. And we don't have a whole heap of nichelings that have um, water body, do we? Not too much. We have a few. So he can't grab any berries anymore. He has to come here and try and find... Oh my goodness, we have a, a dead fish. Let's try and get to it as much as possible. Come on. And grab. There we go. That's food. That's food right there. And let's get Kleshex the second. Now it's pretty much just a race to get to the other port so they can actually... Go somewhere where they can establish a family. Okay, you can come up there. 
And they can destroy berry bushes as they go now. Okay, Hadel. You can come this way. Now, thank goodness we were breeding, guys. Thank goodness we were breeding uh, some of these family lines. Like Hadel and Illo, uh, Illos. Because they are the only water-bearing, I think. Yeah, they are the only water-bearing nichelings that we have that can breathe into water and fish for us. So, thank goodness. But let's see. Raven's pretty good, and so is Illo the Second. I'm worried about Illo the Second, though, because... Uh, I, mean, I mean, maybe if she heads into the water, she might be able to move a little bit better. Because right now, she definitely isn't doing that, and I'm scared she's going to get left behind while everyone kind of moves on ahead. But okay, let's turn the day. Olesa died, yes, and... <gasps> oh, no! Oh, darn it. I didn't realize I left her on a nest. Crap. Okay, well, she had a little baby boy. So this is going to be Quintoral the second, who is a warrior, which is good, but I don't know if he's going to make it. Quintoral the second. Oh my goodness, you guys weren't supposed to have this baby. You weren't supposed to, you were supposed to move. So unfortunately, they're going to have to leave this kid behind, guys. They got, because they have to go. They have to get moving. They can't, they can't stick around here. You can head into the water, though. There we go. She moves past the water. So, it is harsh, but Quintoral the second, he's just gonna have to catch up with them when he does. Because he's getting left behind, guys. I mean, well, not maybe not at the port. I don't know. It just it depends. But it's pretty much a race of the survival. They can't last here for that long. They're food sources. They might not be able to find many fish to last. So, the whole goal now is to actually get to the port so they can establish land somewhere else but for that to happen they kind of need to move don't they quintoral it might seem cruel but this is just life everyone it's just life okay it's gonna move on the waters here are quite shallow so okay coralia you need to get into the water honey she's gonna do well when she's in the water we don't have cracking so unfortunately they can't grab a whole lot of um yeah, they can't grab any of these clams. If anything, they're gonna have to probably try and find fish. So, Kleshex, let's stick to these sides. Oh, we have some fishies, everyone! Let's see, Olesa the second. Let's move to those fish. And then we have our lovely fishes around here as well. So, let's move along here. There's a leech, Raven. Please, someone save her. But we also need, uh, you can fish. Hadel? Darn it, he's not gonna make it. And we are unlocking gills, water body, a whole bunch of stuff. People are getting leeched. Graven's life is in danger now. Darn it. She moved so far ahead, her life's in danger. But at least we've got all these fish. And little Hadel. Yeah, right now the water bearing niche things are going to be the most successful. Okay, we're kind of spread into three areas. I don't know how this is going to go. Food's not going to last this long. At this point, it's lit literally whoever can get to the port fastest and fill it up are going to be the ones who go to the next place. I'm not even going to be choosy. I think that's what's going to happen. We're going to see who gets to make it there first. And basically, because it's kind of like a stampede in a sense. Everyone's just running because... They're getting out of food, they, everything's kind of been destroyed here, they need to go to a, there's a, there's a land bridge or whatever else. They basically need to find their way. They need to find a way to some other place, and only the ones who can run the fastest. And you know what, in a sense, this is kind of going to show which the dominant genes are, the dominant genetics. Because if you're not dominant, you're not going to make it through. Okay, you need a warrior stone, young one, but I don't know how you're going to fare. I don't think he's gonna make it, guys. He was born at the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, you, darling, need assistance. So let's get Olesa the second to help you out over there. There we go. And then everyone's gonna get moving. Illo the second. Let's get you going. And Quintoral is also gonna race ahead. Look at him go. Lord Vane. It's his last day, which means we're going to have new leaders pretty soon. Belrophon. 
might not make it to see his child. But he's trying. Coralia. Where's the fishies? Where see look now the fish are gone. So that's that's the kind of the dangerous part of all of this. The fish leaves so quickly. Okay, he's kind of made it on that side. Clash X. Let's get you to go. Ooh, yes, get some fish. And then Hadel. Ooh, jump for that Hadel. Fish there. You can grab, oh geez. Grab those. And you'll grab this fish. Oop, and this down here. You can jump here. They might get distracted by fish. And really, if they can survive this way, then that's what they're gonna do. Okay, who else? Graven, you are ready to jump onto the port. So she has made it through. There is a nest here, so if she wanted she could have this child and bring it with us. But, I don't know, she might decide to do that. We'll have to see. Or maybe not, because if she has this child, that's another space being taken up. Whereas if she doesn't, one more nicheling can get on. And look at how spread out they are over here. Poor Quintoral. I don't think he's gonna make it, guys. I don't think Quintoral's gonna make it. He was just... just bad luck. He was born at the wrong place at the wrong time. <sighs> and we just had uh, our lord pass away, meaning we have new leaders. So, let's go in the genetics. Where are our genes? Where are the genes? Okay, so Lord Vane the third just passed away, meaning... Oh, Vane the fourth is not a warrior, meaning he can't take on the mantle. But, Quintoral is? So it's gonna be Lord Quintoral now. Lord Quintoral, that's the only rule. You can't pass on the title to a non-warrior because it's called a warrior story. And the Lord's supposed to defend Philantha. So, Quintoral, Lord Quintoral now, and his mate is Elo the Second. So it's gonna be Lady Elo the Second. Meaning that these two have to be on the port because they are Lord and Lady. So their places are kind of secure. Um, where is our Lord? There we go. Their places are secure, so they're gonna make it onto the port. The others, though, it depends on how quick they can go. Coralia. I see. Oh, I see this fishy. Oh! Elo can grab this fish. If she can get to it. And so can Fernalia. If Fernalia can get to the fish, which is unlikely. And you can try. But might not make it. Hadel made it up there, though. Hadel the second. He's made it up to the port as well. Olesa the second. She's made it. Clash X. Clash X. At this point, I'm just gonna try and see who hasn't had kids yet. There we go. Um. There was a bundle there, wasn't there? Hmm, that's fine. Okay, little Graven. Graven, let's just clear this and see what we can get done. Move around a little bit, maybe. Oh, little Quintoral. Yeah, buddy, I don't think you're gonna make it, buddy. I don't think you're gonna make it. And as sad as that is, it's just... Look, they're just too far away now. They're too far away. Who got leeched? It was Fernalia? Okay, now that the rest of them are pretty much here, we need to see who hasn't had a kid yet, basically. I know some of them have. So let's turn the day. Food's running low again. We've had an age up with Coralia, who just died. Oh, geez, someone died. I don't even know who it was. And someone needs help over here. Fernalia, grab the fish. You're gonna get some assistance. And then, I actually need to see who hasn't bred. I'm still gonna try and get control here, but I don't think he's gonna make it. Okay, okay, this is where we start reorganizing, because everyone's within that area where they can breed. So, Lord and Lady. So we've got Lord, and we've got... Where's the Lady? Where's Illo the Second? Lord Quintoral. 
Little, oh, lady has even made it on. Jeez. Lady. Thank you. Good. So Lord and Lady have their spaces. And now, when we come back, I'm going to go through the nichelings and see who hasn't had kids. They'll get a place on here. And those who have had kids, they'll probably choose to stay behind if possible. Anyways, guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.